in the name of God, the most compassionate, the most merciful. Welcome to Islam for Dummies. Today, we will be talking about three scientific facts about the Earth's atmosphere, which were stated in one brief passage of the Quran 1400 years ago. It is important to point out that while it is not a science textbook, yet the Quran mentions numerous scientific facts long before they were discovered. First, we will examine the state of the Earth's first atmosphere. The University of Michigan's website states regarding the evolution of the atmosphere. The first atmosphere was formed by our guessing of gases trapped in the interior of the early Earth, which still goes on today in volcanoes. For the early Earth, extreme volcanism occurred during differentiation, when massive heating and fluid-like motion in the mantle occurred. Now, let's examine the Quran chapter 41 verses 9 to 11, which pertain to the creation of the Earth. Do you indeed disbelieve in him who created the earth in two days and made in it mountains anchored from its top? Then he turned to the heaven while it was smoke. So he said to it and to the earth, Come both of you obediently or with dislike. The Quran clearly refers to the smoke of earth's first atmosphere, which was caused by extreme volcanic activity. This scientific fact could not have been known 1400 years ago. Yet, the Quran mentions it. Allah, Allah, Allah. And for those who will claim that the word smoke is too general, as it could mean any type of gas, we will actually be citing the person discuss Islam despite his belief that the Quran contradicts science. Gas and smoke are not the same thing. Gas is a state of matter. Smoke is a collection of solids, liquids and gases that are omitted when a material combusts. The word used in the Koran to describe the first atmosphere is indeed smoke and not gas. And to demonstrate that this verse indeed refers to the Earth's atmosphere as it was being formed, we will again be citing discuss Islam's own words. Discuss Islam admitted that this verse cannot be referring to the universe. If one looks at the verses before and after this verse, one can see very clearly that it cannot have anything to do with the gaseous state of the universe. It says God created the earth, then he created the hills on the earth, and then it says he turned to the heavens when they were smoke. Indeed, the word heaven in this verse does not refer to the universe. Rather, it refers to the smoky atmosphere of the early Earth's extreme volcanism, as we saw earlier. Furthermore, the Quran's order of the creation of the Earth, and then the mountains, and then the atmosphere, is the second scientific fact from this passage that could not have been known 1400 years ago. Allah, Allah, Allah. Second, we will examine the layers of the Earth's atmosphere. Let's listen to the next verse in the passage. So he decreed them seven heavens, in two days, and inspired in every heaven its ordainment. Contrary to this false claim of discuss Islam, modern science usually specifies five layers, not seven. <laughs> Modern science usually specifies four layers in the Earth's atmosphere. The troposphere, the stratosphere, the mesosphere, and the thermosphere. Separating these four layers are three transition zones or layers ranging between 5 to 10 kilometers each where the temperature remains constant. The tropopause, the stratopause, and the mesopause. According to the Encyclopedia of Earth, atmospheric layers are classified based on their effects to temperature. So according to the classification itself, 
There are indeed seven distinct layers in the Earth's atmosphere, each with its own unique effects on temperature. The vast majority of sources exclude the exosphere at an altitude of 400 kilometers because it is part of outer space, which Discuss Islam falsely claims to be another layer. According to reference.com The Karman line lies at an altitude of 100 kilometers. As commonly used to define the boundary between the Earth's atmosphere and outer space. More precisely, in 2009, scientists at the University of Calgary determined, with a highly advanced ion measuring instrument, that space actually begins at an altitude of 118 kilometers. Therefore, these seven layers listed are part of the Earth's atmosphere. Anything higher than 118 kilometers is part of outer space. The seven distinct layers of the atmosphere is the third scientific fact stated from this same Quranic passage that could not have been known 1400 years ago. Third, we will examine the false claim that the seven heavens from verse 4111 do not refer to the atmosphere. Discuss Islam's first false claim is that the Quran says the stars are inside the lower heaven. We have adorned the lower heaven with the beauty of the stars. However, the verse clearly states that the lower heaven is adorned with the beauty of the stars and not with the stars themselves. To clarify this point, examine these fields. The fields are adorned with the beauty of the projector lights. While the lights are outside the fields, Discuss Islam's second false claim is that the Quran says the moon is inside the atmosphere. And also, he made the moon a light in, the, in their midst and made the sun as a lamp. Again, the verse clearly states that the moon is a light in their midst and not that the moon itself is inside anything. To clarify the point, examine these same fields again. The projector lights are a light in the midst of the fields without physically being on the fields. Discuss Islam's third false claim is that the Quran uses the pre-Copernican view of the universe. The Quran is clearly talking about the pre-Copernican view of the universe that regarded the earth as its center Firstly, Discuss Islam seems to be confusing the Quran, which never claims that the earth is at the center of the universe, with the Bible, which does contain this area. Now let's hear the rest of Discuss Islam's third false claim. With the seven heavens containing the sun, moon, planets and stars around it. Secondly, Discuss Islam also seems confused about the pre-Copernican view of the universe, where Aristotle said there are eight heavens, and more importantly, Ptolemy said there are nine, which was the favored view of that time. As a result, the Koran clearly bears no similarity whatsoever to the incorrect pre-Copernican views of the universe neither in terms of the number of heavens, nor in terms of the earth at the center. In conclusion, one brief passage in the Koran mentions three scientific facts about the atmosphere, long before they were discovered. Smoke of Earth's first atmosphere, the order of its formation, and the seven layers of the atmosphere are three scientific facts mentioned in the Koran that are nowhere to be found without grave errors in the pre-Copernican view of the universe.
Those that challenge the scientific accuracy of these Quranic verses only succeeded in demonstrating their own ignorance about the Earth's atmosphere and their amazing inability to understand even the simplistic pre-Copernican view of the universe. As we have demonstrated, misrepresenting the scientific facts, the views of ancient societies, and what is written in the Quran, is not only the strategy, but a fundamental requirement for people attempting to refute the Quran's overwhelming signs. We sincerely hope you enjoyed this episode of Islam for Dummies, and we hope to see you again next time.